Hello everyone, it's Johnny from WP Johnny, and today I'm going to start a three video or a three part series on how to use Gutenberg. So this is a guide for all the noobs or people complaining that Gutenberg is hard to use or they don't understand it. I'm going to cover all the basics um, in this video series. So let's get started. For this first video, I'm just going to show you how to enable the Gutenberg block editor and also how to work with the default blocks that already come with WordPress. So uh, for most of you uh, with issues, you're probably using like a WordPress site that was created uh, before Gutenberg was the default editor. And it looks something like this when we go to edit pages or posts. You see you have this rich text editor right here. This is the classic editor. And some of you may have like the full toolbar or the, the minimal toolbar. It looks like tiny MCE. It's like a what you see is what you get editor. So uh, we're, I'm gonna get out of this and I'm just gonna go to settings and writing and to enable it, I enable the block editor and I'll also allow users to switch editors. Okay, now I'm gonna go back to posts and you see how it's still using classic editor? I go in here and it's still using the classic editor. And to convert this, I'm just gonna go to the right side and there should be an option to, there you go, switch to block editor. And now it puts all this into one classic editor box. My computer's running a little slow because I'm editing and then I can add more blocks to it. So I'm just gonna hit update and I'm gonna go to posts. And then, so you can see which, uh, which post items are using the new block editor and which ones are using the old classic editor. So you can like slowly convert things over, you can enable it and play with Gutenberg for some pages and everything will still work. You don't, you don't lose your, your site function or your site design just because you converted to the Gutenberg block editor. Okay, so now we got that going, let's go ahead and create a new post. So for those of you who created a new a WordPress site that was, was um, using the, the most recent version of WordPress, your editor will look like this. It will start with the block editor by default. So right here, put title here and right here, you have this blank space and you can start putting in your blocks. Okay, so let's take a look at this and we're going to work with blah, blah, blah. Okay, so let's start with um, how to add Gutenberg blocks. If it's just text, you can just type. Text, you just type it. Okay, now to add a block, I can do a few things. I can click off, click down here. Oh, it's not letting, oh. My annoying, annoying landlord's calling, annoying landlord's calling. Okay, I'm gonna hit enter. I jump to the next line and here I can hit the plus sign. And from here I can scroll down or uh, actually browse all and then pick the kind of block I want. So maybe I want to do another paragraph. Maybe I want to do media. Let's just, let's just do a heading block. I'll select the heading block. You see it's H2. This is a heading and I can change the, the heading size, H3, H2, I can change the alignment, right? I can bold, unbold, itali oh, italicize or not. I can link it, right? So you can do basic block editing options using the block toolbar that's right here. I can also use the block sidebar settings, uh, settings sidebar. And from here, we can change colors. And I'm going to just get my face out of here. And let's put, let's make uh, actually let's use this right so pretty fun pretty easy now hit enter again and it's back to paragraph I can also another way to add blocks is if I hover around the bottom of block you see if I hover around the block the bottom I can add a block right in between and then here let's just do an image and using the image block I'm just gonna pick some of that random one let's get my face to the other side yeah and here we go and pretty simple. So there you go. It's very clean, very simple. Um, here you see, I'm going to go in here and okay. So these blocks are very simple. There's, there's not very many options. Um, as you can see here, I can do a custom font size, right? Let's see what other blocks we can play with. And here we go. Get my face. All right. Let's do listing editing quotes and classic okay so here we go this is what a list i'll hit space and 
There you go, right? So that's default listing. I can also, from here, I can type, see, list. Okay, I can choose from here. Let's, let's pick a quote. This is a quote. Right, I'm gonna hit publish and let's just see what we've made so far. View post. Ba -ba -bum. And there you go, that's pretty cool. Pretty clean, very simple. And let's see what else we can do. Ah, classic editor. So let's just start here in this empty space. I'm gonna search for the classic editor. I can also just type classic. And then I'm sure you guys recognize this. This is the classic editor block from before. Right, it, it works exactly the same way. You can even use this toolbar and turn it to HTML mode, and then you can put it back to visual. Easy, easy, easy. Now let's do the media blocks. Okay, image. We have we've already done an image block. Let's do a gallery block. Now another way I can get to the block options. I can type this sign, and then from there I can search. Um, here I'm going to pick gallery. And I'm just gonna pick, uh, how about these three, uh, four items right here? And just insert them in there. And then I can decide, right? Let's do this four columns. Do we crop images? Do they link anywhere? How about we link to a media file? I can also go into uh, each one and edit and caption and all that. Let's check the preview. And yeah, okay, well these are awful images. These are, I think these images were supposed to be for, here you go, just gonna remove it. And let's let's pick a, a new new gallery images that are not little icons or something. How about this, yeah. Boom, and there you go, it's three. And you can also, so this gallery option doesn't seem to be very, uh, it's not very fancy. It's like three, it's, it's three images across no matter desktop or mobile. If I installed another gallery plugin, I can change the number of columns and whatnot. So this is really cool. This is really simple. And how about we link it to the media file? And boom, there you go. All right, guys. So let's get back. Oh, I see. It's not a, it's not a light box. All right, next, columns, buttons, spacer. So these are design. These are the design blocks. Remember, I'm only going through some of the more common ones. I'm not going through uh, all of them, okay? Just going through the ones that you're most likely to use. So first off, let's do columns because very often we want to do, right? So you can do, let's do like a half and half column. And over here, we'll add a paragraph block. This will be text on this side. And on this side, we add an image. And let's just pick a, how about we pick this character over here. And boom, there you go. And I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna refresh the front end. And there we are. Okay, so there's the image and all that. And again, these are just very, very basic. Now this is where um, it gets a little tricky. Sometimes you wanna edit the actual block settings sometimes you want to edit the column settings. So you kind of have to like, like, like sometimes you want to edit the parent element. So you see the column here and let's just put some background to it. Oh, whoops, that's not what I wanted. How about this? There you go. How about this? This. Cool, and you can decide to do more columns, right? Um, again, this is the built-in default WordPress column block. So it doesn't have fancy options, okay? Later on, I'll show you how to get fancy options. Next up, we're gonna do a button. So here in this right here, I'm just gonna hit enter and there you go. And I'm just gonna type button. And this is the default WordPress button. And I'm just gonna call it buy now. And then over here on the right side, I have options like how to style the button and maybe, you know, um, and see you can change the default style. You can change a border radius and make it open a new tab, decide where it links. I can change the colors. So pretty simple. So some of you are installing a whole page builder just for little simple features like this and you don't need to. The WordPress default already, you can do it. You don't even have to install stuff.
right? Especially if your layout's very super, like super simple. Okay, uh, spacer. So some of you may want spaces in between your content. So I'm gonna go here and there you go, right there in between. I'm just gonna go to browse all so that you guys can see where I'm pulling it from. And I'm gonna put the spacer, right? And then you can change like how much or how little. I usually like to do 50. I think 100 is, is too much. It almost looks like it's a, a complete disconnect in the content gap. And there you go, there's a 50, right? Next up, uh, the read more. So usually uh, at the read more, like like when you want to separate the intro from the rest of the content, let's say right here, I'm going to go here and actually, oh, okay. There's, there's something in here that I don't know what it is and I'm just going to delete this block. Okay, there you go. Oh, I see it was, it was that whole classic block. Well, that was annoying. Let me just delete this so it doesn't confuse us. Here you go. Right here, I'm going to do Read more, cool. There you go, and then as you, I'm sure you guys already know what that does. More, okay, custom HTML, right? Latest comments, latest posts, search. I think these are all extremely self-explanatory, so here you go. Actually, let's do this so you guys can see where I'm pulling it from. And uh, was it in the widgets? I think it's widgets. Yeah, there you go, custom L, HTML, so. Put HTML in here, whatever you want, right? Cool. Here, we can also, I forgot to put this on my list, but you can do short codes, right? So sometimes you want to put short codes, like maybe a slider, like something like slider one, two, three, something like that. Okay, and then right here, I'm gonna put another one. Um, Let's do, oh, latest comments. We can put that here. Yeah, there's no comments, so it's not showing anything. We can also do the uh, latest posts. So these are things that you would have had to like stick in a widget or do some kind of short code or other hack. But now, thanks to the Gutenberg uh, editor, block editor, you can add many things that would have normally, uh, could only be placed in widgets. Now you can put it there, um, here right in your content. Right, pretty cool. And let's not forget on over here, we can decide like how many items. Okay, let's just, let's just do a few. Let's not go crazy, right? Do we want to display their featured images? See, their date. Do we want to put their actual like intro excerpts? There you are, easy enough, moving on. Now, um, I already showed you how to edit it, the two places, and now I'm gonna show you how to move it. So let's say you wanna move blocks around. Whoops, sorry, not this page, over here. Um, I'm just gonna delete this so it looks a little more clean and we know, okay, let's say I wanna move this around. You can press the up arrow, press the down arrow. I can also click this area, hold it, and then I can drag it around, uh, let's say right here, okay? I can also click on this block um, and I'm pressing like the cut paste keys on my keyboard. Oh, wait, hold on. I'm gonna control all to, all right, sorry, hold on. Uh, maybe that one was being a little weird. Okay, uh, how about we do a move to? Oh, I think, I think my computer's running a little slow again. Let me, let me try this, let me try this over. Move to, all right. I don't know why it's being weird. It's being slow and unresponsive, but I'm just gonna pick this one. So here I I simply use the cut command, right? And I cut it somewhere else. I'm also gonna do this. I'm gonna just highlight several blocks. So let's say like these two right here. I'm gonna use the cut command on my keyboard. Did it cut? I don't think it did. Yeah, I'm just gonna, and I'm gonna see if I can paste it there. Oh, I see, it didn't hide. Yuck. All right, here, cut. There you go. And here, I paste it all. Okay, so that worked. Um, other ways to move it, uh, like I said, you can, hold, you can hold this and you can drag it. Let me pick a smaller one, that way you can actually see me moving it. There you go. Yeah, I drag that. 
I could, yeah, cut, paste. You can also use the block navigation plugin, install it, see for yourself. Um, other times too, sometimes maybe you have like a whole bunch of columns, like columns inside columns and you can't figure out what to do. You can put this into code editor mode, right? And you can scroll around and let's say, okay, I wanna move this short code. I wanna take this out and I wanna stick it inside this column uh, right underneath uh, this paragraph block, right between the paragraph and the buttons. You can do it like that. Switch it back to visual editor. Boom, and there you go, the shortcut's here now. Okay, how to edit block, uh, how to copy blocks from one site to another. Use the editor's kit plugin, install it. Now, for custom styling, let's say you, you want to have some custom like CSS styling to your blocks. It's really simple. Let's say I want to do it for this one. Any block really, you can go to the very bottom and add CSS classes. I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna add one and I'm gonna call it uh, block red, okay? And then here, um, you can put it in your theme CSS or you can go to the customizer and stick it in the add-on CSS. So I'm getting here. And let's do it, block red, boom. Background color, red, hit publish. Did I, did I publish this? Oh, I don't want to publish that. Not yet. <laughs> My work is not ready. Okay. I go here. And there you go. So that worked. So you can apply custom CSS classes to every block that you want, and it will apply the manual CSS styling that you want. So I think this is it for the very first video. We're all done. Oh, okay, fine. Reusable blocks. That's, that's one we need to do. So let's say you have blocks that uh, you want to keep reusing in multiple places. So I'm going to do, I'm gonna take this, make this whole thing right here a reusable block. So I'm clicking on this, I'm trying to make sure I got the parent. Yeah, I, got, I know that I got the parent block because it has a column option. I'm gonna add to reusable blocks and let's just do it like, I'm gonna call it sales block, boom, okay? And I go here and I'm gonna make another one and I'm just gonna call it sales block only. Okay, and I hit publish. And here, I'm just gonna type reusable. Actually, I need to show you. Oh, by the way, I'm sure you saw like some of the default blocks already in there. Okay, see, so you can have patterns. This is really cool. You can use the patterns. I'm not gonna show you that right now. Use block, and I'm gonna call it sales block. And there you go. So we have this block used in multiple places right it's on this page it, it's on these it's on this page here and then also on this page here now i can do this let's say i edit this and will it let me edit yes edit okay and i'm gonna call it a was edited okay i hit save so that means it's saved everywhere. And now I refresh this, it was edited. If I go over here, it was also edited. That's pretty cool, that's very powerful. Now what if I wanted to just reuse a block as a template, but I want each block to be different. So in that case, I go back here and I'm gonna remove this, okay, from reusable blocks. Or I can convert to a regular block. Okay, later on you guys edit it. This edit only shows on this page. Okay. There you go. This one was not edited. All right. This concludes the first video. I think this is pretty easy enough to use, like how to move and make changes and all that. Next, I'll show you how to do the more fun stuff. See you next time.